Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. Is how do you maintain that processor or equipment in a validated state right. over the lifetime of the process or the equipment? When you initially file for licensures, you have to prove that, that your claims are true. But then over time, you have to prove that your, your claims are still true. Yes. And yes. That's, that's the validation maintenance aspect. I mean, everybody knows, you know, that over time, equipment and processes tend to, dr to drift. Yes. You know, you have to take your car in for a tune-up. Same thing with the complex equipment we use in manufacturing. And I keep coming back to equipment. It's the process, it's the assays, it's the control systems. There's many aspects that require validation. And so generally what we'll do is, again, depending upon risk, we use risk for a lot of factors, but um, certain high-risk items, you may choose to come in and perform a challenge on that equipment. You might ask it to perform to, to run a to do a run and evaluate mm -hmm. its output. Right? If it's a good example would be like say an autoclave. Mm -hmm. um, if the output of that autoclave is very important to the patient, we may come in every six months and, and actually load some material with biological indicators in it and verify that the biological indicators have been inactivated. Mm -hmm. you know, and that that would be an example of a kind of a test that you perform periodically to maintain the validated state. All the facilities that are licensed by the FDA to produce drugs have a two-year audit cycle. Mm -hmm. So every two years, the FDA visits my facility, and I'm expected to be able to confirm that all the equipment is still running as reliably as it ever has. And that's, that's where I interact with the agency to, to show them my validation program and to explain how we do it and answer any questions that they have. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this, and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.